A crime that's almost incomprehensible. In July last year, at the family's home in Port Hedland, Margaret Dale Hawke stabbed and strangled her 10-year-old daughter and 7-year-old son before smothering her four-month-old baby boy. She then set fire to the house before walking out the front door. Emergency services found the children's bodies inside. The WA Supreme Court heard Hawke had not been coping with the responsibilities of being a single mother. The night before the murders, she had sought help at a women's refuge, but was told it didn't have the capacity to care for the family, so they returned home. In police interviews, Hawke said she'd told her children before killing each of them, I love you, please forgive me. The court heard Hawke, who was a drug user, was exposed to violence throughout her childhood, with that violence continuing at the hands of three abusive former partners. During sentencing, Justice Michael Lundberg said he accepted Hawke felt genuine remorse, taking into account her early pleas of guilty and her dysfunctional and profoundly deprived background in deciding the minimum term she should serve. Justice Lundberg said words could scarcely cover the terrible nature of what Hawke had done, saying the children's final moments must have been terrifying. Hawke sobbed and at one stage almost completely collapsed in the dock as she was sentenced to life with a non-parole period of 25 years. Some of the children's family members upset with the result. We're not happy, that's all we've got to say. Yeah, we're, we're not, not happy, happy with the results. She should have got life case. without being really released from jail. With time served, Hawke will be eligible for parole in 2047. By then, she'll be 61 years old. Brianna Shepherd, ABC News.